Friends, I've had uh, some people ask me about exporting photos from Insta360. I'm going to go ahead and just open that. The Insta360 Studio, which is a free software program you just go download from Insta360. Here we have it open. Now, the person that would ask me a question said that they had a project. They didn't know how to export their pictures from it. They had photos and videos. And I've got one that's similar to that, uh, the South Mountains project. I shared recently a, a video. It's going to take it a minute or two to generate the, um, to restore the project. So I'm going to hush and just fast forward through this part. Okay, so here is my project, and it has video and photos in it, but even all you're seeing it when you make your project, you're seeing the videos over here if you've made a project. So the thing my friend has done is they don't understand. I we'll said, well, you know, I've got general media over here, and I can see all these things that say IMG images. Here are the images. And so, yeah, so here's an image, and yeah. Uh, so how do I export that as a photo? And they're going over here, and they're clicking the Export button up top. And they're realizing it's going to export as a video, not a photo. And they just want to share spherical photos, not videos. So they don't want to do this. They don't want to do a, vid a video. So how do you do that? Well, it took me, it's a little awkward, I guess. I'll show you how that I do it. I go to Media. And then I go over here where they'll make sure the little TV thing is. And even though they're already imported into your project, I go ahead and do open files from where this little monitor looking thing is and I go ahead and pull in the ones that have the IMG uh, prefix on them so let's look at this good sort by kind here and here are all the ones that are IMGs it has to have IMG at the, at the beginning and oh here's some more I gotta start up here I'm gonna click at the top and I'm gonna click down at the bottom hold my shift key down and that will pull in all of the images. IMG. See these other ones have LRVs. Uh oh, I missed one. And they have LRVs or VID as the prefix. You don't want those. So go ahead and open those. They open pretty quick. Then you can see them in a cool list like this. And then you can see, you know, what image you've shot. And it'll, it'll if you're going to animate. And um, so if you click uh, animate up here. Beside 360, you can see what your image is going to look like in the spherical window. You don't export from this place, though. So this one, number 17 over here, I can see it's got an HDR beside it. This says HDR, so this is a high, uh, what, HDR, well, it's a, it's a higher quality photo, more data in it. Let's pick another one here. And to, here again, to see what they're going to look like, you can put them into animate mode. That one looks pretty good to me, so I think I want to share this one in the in the uh, spherical. So what I'm going to do, uh, the other thing that I ask is how do you edit color and stuff? We well, go over here to where the little uh, media processing is over here on the right. You click on that, and it does give you either the color plus or the clarity plus. You sort of have to decide which you want to use. A lot of times I'm using this color plus. I don't think it lets you save both of them. You click on this one, it deactivates the Color Plus, and you get the Clarity Plus, which is more about the, um, yeah, I guess, the sharpening of it, right? I think I'm going to pick the Color Plus, and I'm going to export that way. Now, you can't export from this view. If you click Export here again, it's going to be a video again. See, it's going to stay 1920 by 1080. No, I don't want that. Uh, you can choose, you know, we don't want to export a video, so I'm going to close that. You're going to go back to your 360 photo, and now your color adjustment has been applied to that. And now, you can go ahead and hit export, and look what happens. Now you've got your export 360 photo. You don't want to export a reframe, you want to export this one over here, so that's already selected. And you can see it's going to be 11, uh, almost 12,000 pixels wide. And it's going to save it as a photo. What it really saves that you see the JPEG here, it saves it as about a level 11 JPEG if you're used to talking in uh, Photoshop terms. So I'm going to do an export. And now that should be on my desktop. Now if I minimize this for a minute, uh, maybe I can, then I can see here, here is that image. Now, 
Let's say I want to open this with Photoshop. This is the thing I do a lot. You know, you can ignore this step if you've gotten it. This image that we just have saved it will work fine on anything that delivers a spherical 360 photo. But a lot of times I like to take it into Photoshop and me, I'm, I like to go into camera raw filter in here. Even though this is not a camera raw image, the, uh, the uh, photo editing qualities of this to me are just better so I'm gonna like hit a little dehaze on this just to you see what that does that just kind of gives it a little bit more more richness in the color I might go into the shadows and lighten those shadows a little bit I might go into saturation saturate a little, a little bit more vibrance and maybe I want it to be a little warmer so I'll do the temperature up up just a little bit maybe I'll change the contrast just a little bit more and I'm gonna say okay and now I've got, you know, Command Z, that undoes it. You go from that dull image to uh, redo to this sort of more brighter, nicer looking image, right? Now I'm going to say File, Save As. Again, you don't have to do all this. I'm doing I'm just showing you if your workflow does include Photoshop, you might like doing this. I'm going to put a little R at the end of this. That just means that this has been a revised photo. So that's just my little way that I do it. We're still going on the desktop and I save it. Save a level 11 is good for me. Now I'm going to quit Photoshop. And what I've got, uh, I've got two versions of this now. I've got my uh, original version here. And I've got my revised kind of livened up version. And I'll show you kind of when I do Facebook or something. And so here, here are some of those images that I have uh, saved or uh, um, shared with the world. So like, let's click on one of these and you can see what they're going to look like. Let's go full screen with it. And uh, it might take a second or two for them to render out for the player on Facebook to render that out. But that's pretty amazing that you're able to do that. So like, like again, I use Facebook because of the fact that it allows me to... Uh, to have a good player that I don't have to go out and find and pay for somewhere. So that looks pretty cool, doesn't it? You know, that is, it's amazing to know you can go out with one camera and shoot, and you can reframe these things. And you, like if you want to do screen captures of these things, or you do it from Insta 360 or whatever program you're in, but you've got virtually limitless versions of this particular photo. Say so you want to share. A photo of uh, the sky and leaves or, or you just want that little thing right there that's cool uh, let's see what else I got here I can't remember what all I shot that day but there you go like I say virtually limitless views of a scene that you go and you shoot and folks that's how I export them peace to all who watch subscribe to the channel if you like if you have any other questions about Insta360 processing these images or anything like that let me know I'll do my best to answer. Thanks.